Good morning guys, I'm up early this morning, just tagged along with Ben on his morning round of checking the cows and the sheep. I wish I met you further along. The dogs are enjoying an ice bath as Ben unbolts the um, water trough and moves it into the field. Bella loves it. <laughs> Having courgette cake, I'm having a tea and Ben's on coffee. Lovely day, isn't it? Lovely. These are my kitchen cabinet doors. I think I'll do another coat on them once um, I've had lunch, so they'll they should dry in about two hours and it just needs another half an hour. Knocking off for um lunch now. Put the table in the shade because it's really sunny today and neither of us want to be sat in the sun and get burnt. They will here underneath the trees. So this afternoon I've put another coat on these kitchen cupboard doors and I've just nipped into town just to um, post this um, router back so now that's sent back to two degrees. Um, I am just going to go over to Shane and Gals and um, bag up these beans that are in the freezer. Just in Jane's garden getting some lettuce for dinner but um, I just thought I'd show you the courgettes. These, um, we haven't actually eaten the ones that I showed you the other day. And look at these monsters on the um, plant. Can you see that? That is huge. There's also this one here. Where is it? Another one growing down there. And all these flowers are going to turn into courgettes. These are the lettuces here, so I'm just going to pick a few leaves off for dinner. Ben's cooked some lovely garlic bread on my homemade bread the other day. Should we try it out? Good morning guys, it's almost 8 o'clock. I've just put my muesli in the oven to toast because we're nearly running out and I've just actually noticed that the water sprinkler is still on our veggie patch from last night so I have to go and turn that off before it drowns the veggies. My veggies have grown like an unbelievable amount since I probably last showed you them. The corn is like just taken off, it's ridiculous. You'll need to bear in mind that I do need to weed this here. I was waiting until it got a bit bigger so I could actually pull it out of the ground. But these are all my corn here. How cool is that? So today has been the most frustrating day in the universe. Um, our telephone wasn't working and we only noticed this today so called two degrees, spent an hour on the phone to two degrees, um, two degrees then said that they didn't know what the issue was and they'd work on it. Um, miraculously an hour after that phone call our telephone line then started working again. Two degrees called me to confirm that it was working which I confirmed it was, and also requested confirmation of where our compensation was up to for not being online um, for most of last week. So we didn't have internet or, or the telephone line um, for five days last week. It was their issue because the router was faulty. They should have a note of this on their system, right? They're now denying that we ever had an issue and have offered me $3.50 in compensation just for the telephone line because they're saying that we had an internet connection it was just disconnecting frequently oh my god I was literally shaking when I was on the phone to them I was so annoyed anyway I'm waiting for a supervisor to give me a call back in order to discuss a more appropriate level of compensation I've also tweeted to them and posted on their Facebook page I'm not expecting a response though but 
I am actually considering cancelling the broadband and telephone with them because if this issue occurred again, I'd just be paying for a service that, you know, I'm not getting. Very frustrating. So I'm just over in Jane's garden getting some ingredients for tea. I've got some lemons. What else do I need? Parsley, a pepper, and maybe some thyme. So we're just cooking dinner and watching Broken Tate episode. I'm gonna end the vlog here because I've been editing it and it's so long. Standard. We're having chicken and courgette pasta tonight. I'm just giving Ben a pronunciation lesson. <laughs> um, between hair on your head, here as in come here, and what else are we saying? The bunny rabbit here, but we might skip that one out because it's too complicated. <laughs> so, what say hair as in hair on your head, and then say here as in come here? Here, and I hear. And come here. <laughs> it's the way we say pool as well, like. Yeah, I pull. Pool. I pulled in the pool. I pull. 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 He pulled in the pool with a pill. <laughs> the pill. I really hate it when I forget to put the yogurt in the fridge overnight so I make the yogurt and then it just stays warm overnight in the cupboard. <laughs> I should really put it in the fridge so now I've got warm yogurt on the cereal. Yay! Benji's destroying my kitchen again. Every single house we move into it's about de it's destruction, it's destruction and then restruction. <laughs> um, so this morning I painted another coat on the front of the pantry doors so that's just almost dry so I need to do a coat on the back of them and then I can start painting inside the cupboards. I'm going to paint inside the cupboards the, the same grey as we're doing the doors just because we've got loads of loads of it and at the moment it's just like a sort of horrible sort of plywood colour so I'll show you that now. These are the pantry doors. So that just need to do the insides of them. These are the drawers that I've painted and been fitting new handles on them this morning. There's like the they were just plastic wooden handles, plastic wooden handles, <laughs> plastic brown handles before. <laughs> I've started painting this cupboard, but I've only half done it, so I'll finish that off. I'm not sure whether I'll need two coats or if I'll even have enough paint for two coats, but. I just need to cover up these stains. Hey guys, we're just going out for dinner. We're going to a place called the Muscle Inn, which is just outside of Tarkica. Um, probably take us about half an hour to get there. And um, we're meeting some of Ben's cousins. Um, Jamie and... Nicholas, or Nick. Nick. Um, so I'll show you a bit of the Muscle Inn. It's like a quirky pub restaurant place where they make their own beer and cider serve food as well. There's a spider clinging on to dear life on our wind window. warehouse. Just in Bunnings trying to figure out what electrical sockets we need and how to fix them on the wall. We must have to something behind it. Ben loves Bunnings. 
pretend doesn't love bunnings so so much. <laughs> I'm a little bit bored after an hour looking at what electrical sockets we should get and now looking at plumbing brackets, sockets, plugs. Just been to the warehouse and get some um, to get some potting mix and some plants. And now we're going to countdown. We're going to try it out, give Pack and Save it a rest, and see what countdown's like for groceries. So we just arrived back home. Ben's plaster's arrived on a pallet, which is good and I'm just about to plant the thyme and the parsley that we got from the warehouse in our new little tubs and put them on the deck. We got these nice plant pots for they were ten dollars and you get a big one, a bit, well a bigger one and a smaller one, quite good like a pot and then we got these three, oh, where are they? three plastic pots that were ten dollars each but then they had 30% off and they're like self-watering ones so the water gets stored in the bottom there and then the plant must just be able to suck it up which is pretty good. So I finished planting my herbs so I'll just show you the plant pots. There's thyme and parsley in those and then these ones here are the self watering ones because it stores water at the bottom of the pot. So that's my chives and I've got basil and mint over here. There's like a white powder on them because it's um it's like an organic weed, um, not weed killer, organic um, aphid and caterpillar killer and the white um, butterfly moth killer. doesn't actually kill them, doesn't actually kill the insects, it just stops them from eating my plants, eating my veggies which is what I don't want. I've also just started weeding the veggie garden because it was getting overrun with weeds. So I'll finish it off tomorrow. It's nine o'clock now. I've just got a couple of pizzas in that we got from Countdown over in um, Motueka. Good morning, guys. This morning I've got a few forms to fill in um, so we can get our belongings to us. So our container apparently arrived in port on Friday, as expected. Um, and we need to fill in some forms before they can, you know, start opening the container. Um, We've been told it'll take about 25 working days um, from when they receive our forms to when we'll get our goods. So that'll be about, if that's true, we'll get them about 15 weeks after they've got packed up in the UK, which is longer than they actually quoted us um, when they came round and you know sat down with us and said how long it'll take. They said it'll take like 8 to 12 weeks and it's going to take about 15 weeks. <laughs> so... We are, I'm looking forward to getting like my clothes and stuff, because we're renovating the house, um, it would be a bit difficult if our belongings arrive right now because we don't really have anywhere to put them, we'd be working around them all the time, so I suppose it is quite good that they, they'll take a bit longer, but at the same time, I'm kind of sick of wearing the same clothes. Um, we're going to Wellington to see um, Ben's little nephew, Liam. Um, on when are we going? On the 11th of February. So it would be nice to have some clothes to wear then that aren't scruffy ones that we've been travelling in for the last three months. <laughs> Sent all the forms off to the shipping company now and I've just pulled some hot toasted muesli out of the oven which looks really nice and colourful full of fruit. Got some, the red things are, is it Goi, goji berries, I don't know how to pronounce them. And there's uh, some apricots and raisins in there as well and some cranberries too. Ben has just plastered another wall in the bedroom, which I think he's just finished. Done? Done, done. Looking lovely again. And yeah, I'm gonna go and do some washing and maybe make some courgette pickle. I've come over to Jane and Gav's house whilst Ben's plastering to make um, courgette pickle because these courgettes are just a joke in size. I honestly struggled to carry them from the veggie garden to the house. 
They are huge. That is a big sink. That one's massive and very heavy. This one's even bigger. I can't even pick it out of there. And this one's a small one ish. <laughs> and believe me, there's plenty more on that courgette plant. Just picking some green peppers for my chutney. Um, hoping this chutney works out. So I've got all the veggies for my um, zucchini pickle chopped up and you put salt on them and then cover them in water. Apparently leave them for at least two hours so I've done that and now I'm going to try and make um, probably courgette and lemon cake. So I'm just grabbing some lemons from the garden for my cake. Um, these are them here. They're not as perfect as you, the ones you get in the shop, but I think it's really cool that you can just grow your own stuff over, over here. Um, lemons go well, there's like an orange tree there, I think you can grow limes and avocados and everything like that. I just had a call back from the bank, um, the one which I was applying for um, a job at a couple of weeks back. And they said they wanted to interview me, which is really good, but um, the advert said it was 15 hours part time which I just assumed that it was two days a week, like seven and a half hours each day, but they want someone five days a week, three hours each day, and just because it's an hour and 15 drive for me there, and then an hour and 15 drive back, I'd obviously only be working as much as I'd be driving, so I said um, that I'd leave it, but to keep me in mind, so feeling a little bit disappointed with that. I should have really rang and found out what the hours were um, before I applied, but never mind. Hey guys, so yesterday I did my pickle and I made my zucchini and lemon cake and I was absolutely knackered, hence the reason why I didn't pick up the camera and vlog again yesterday. Um, this morning I've just been doing jobs, so I've just been cleaning the house because it was a complete mess. It's a bit of a nightmare when you're renovating a house and you've got to try and keep it clean because you're tidying up the renovation stuff and also just trying to go about your daily business. Um, I've done the beans again this morning, so um, chop those up and they're in the freezer and now. And then, I'm not sure if we're going to go to the dog trials this afternoon. Are we Benji? Uh, why not? Maybe. Ben has just been finishing the wall off, plastering the wall in the main bedroom. So the main bedroom is now completely plastered. This wall is the wall he's just done. Um, he did that wall yesterday and this wall yesterday so they're still drying out you can see the wet patches there so that'll dry out within the next few days and then once all the walls have dried out it'll be my job to sand the walls so they're all perfectly smooth and then paint them so this is what our kitchen's looking like at the moment the we keep oiling the wood top we haven't screwed it down yet um because i think you're meant to just keep it in place and keep oiling it for a, like a week or so before you actually screw it down just so it doesn't then warp. So these are our doors and drawers that we've painted that grey. I've still got to put the handles on the doors. Um, so it's coming together. Hey guys, I'm just over at Jane and Gav's. We decided not to go to the dog trials this afternoon. Um, the weather turned a bit cloudy and we weren't sure if it was going to rain or not. So Ben's been getting on with the DIY stuff in the kitchen, just preparing. Um, for plastering and I'm just over here now making dinner so we're gonna have rib chops and just trying to decide what sauce to do with them so I was gonna do maybe a honey and a soy sauce the rib chops are off the farm um, so they should be really tasty I'm just grabbing some salady stuff from the garden for dinner I'm yeah, I was hoping the tomatoes would be ripe, and they are by the looks of things. Big and juicy. Grab some lettuce and some beetroot here. But I don't know if it's ripe or not, and I don't know how to cook it. Probably, well, you boil it, don't you? I don't know. Um, what else should we have? Maybe some green pepper. Mm, I'll see if the courgettes, no not courgettes, <laughs> I'll see if the um, cucumbers are ready as well. 
Good morning guys, I'm making a bacon and egg pie this morning because I've had the ingredients out for a couple of days now and I need to really use them up and I'm sure it'll be a lovely thing to eat for lunch so I'm going to do that now. Finished making my bacon and egg pie and we had it for lunch which is delicious. Now Ben is plastering the kitchen and it's looking really nice. Bit of a change, isn't it? Oh. <laughs> it's currently my job to scrape the plaster off the um, skirting boards in the bedroom. But it's coming off quite easily. This is the bedroom. It's not come up that badly, has it? going to be pretty good. So I finished scraping plaster off the skirting boards. The room looks a million dollars. Carpet needs to be cleaned so ignore that. Ben's finished his wall in the kitchen. So that's our kitchen at the moment. I'm just about to go and sit on the deck and have tea and cake. So this afternoon I've weeded my veggie patch so that looks really good now. I'm now just cooking dinner. Um, I'm just doing a really simple pasta with like courgette and tomato and a bit of spring bunion. Um, because I need to use the courgette up still. Um, and after dinner I'm going to have to clean all the plaster off the kitchen floor. So it's an absolute mess. Um, Gemma, Ben's sister's coming tomorrow and Gavin Jane, Ben's mum and stepdad are back off holiday. So um, Ben's just been mowing the lawns for them this afternoon and mowing round like veggie patch because that got out of control. So I hope you like watching my vlog this week and please subscribe. <laughs>